rough deal for her. Impossible. Hopeless. Why? I'm afraid Maggie Evans is going out of her mind. Are you sure? Well, she's begun to babble and behave in a childlike way. She talks about having a secret friend. A friend who comes into the room and plays with her. Maybe that means it's working out. Maybe if you wait long enough, she'll come around and be Josette like you want. No. She's beyond hope of redemption. I'm afraid Maggie Evans will never fit into my plans. What are you going to do? The only other alternative. Dispose of her. You mean you're going to let her go? You know what I mean. You're going to kill her. Well, I can't risk keeping her here. Well, isn't there something else you can do? There's no other way. But if you kill her, they might catch us. We stand that risk either way. But killing her will be safest. Well, I don't see that. She will be disposed of in a way that no one will be able to trace. In fact, there will be no trace. Please, Barnabas, don't do this. She hasn't done anything to you. She doesn't deserve this. If you have any mercy, mercy. There was a time when I needed it. A time that... that I begged for it. From those who could so easily have given it. From those who could have understood and helped. But they chose not to. And now I choose not to. Just that she doesn't deserve what you're gonna do. <laughs> I'm the sole judge of who deserves what. Now I warn you, Willie. If you give me the slightest interference, your fate will be identical to hers. Is that clear? Yes. She will be disposed of tomorrow. Hiding on me. You are. I just know it. What's the matter? Nothing's the matter. Nothing at all. Yeah? Well, who are you calling? My friend. She's not supposed to know about her. Why not? Because it's a secret. That's why. I see. You better eat this. What is it? Just some stuff I had up there. Oh, good, I'm hungry. You're hungry, huh? I'm starved. Now listen to me, I... We should knock off that secret friend business. Why, Willie? What's the matter? It's not doing you any good. Well, I like my secret friend. And I'll play with her whenever I want to, whenever she comes to play with me. Look, whether you admit it or not, I'm your friend. So don't put on no act with me. Now listen, things are going to get rough if we don't figure out something in a hurry. I'm trying to help you. I'm sticking my neck out for you. So come on, you pay attention to me. Okay. I'll pay attention. Okay. Now first, let's forget about you becoming Josette, okay? Okay. It wasn't any fun. From now on, you got to be calm and straight. You just be yourself. Maggie Evans. <laughs> That's easy. I am Maggie Evans. Yeah, I know, but not the way you're doing right now, because what you're doing now is beginning to worry me. I don't understand you, Willie. I don't understand you at all. You brought my dinner, and I'm eating everything, and, and I do anything that anybody tells me to do. Hey, come on now. What's the matter with you? Nothing. Nothing is the matter with me. Really, I'm happy now. I've got a friend. 
And she comes to visit me. She comes right into this room and, and plays with me. What do you mean, she comes into this room? How, how does she get in here? Well, I don't know, but she gets here. Listen to me. You cut it out, you hear? You cut it out. My arm. Now, you understand, the only thing that's going to save you is to be sane. You understand, you got to be normal. The way you were before you came in here. You better leave me alone. Now, you got no friend, you understand me? You're alone in here, you're Maggie Evans, and you got no friend. I have a friend. My best friend. And we, we play and we sing. London Bridge is falling down, falling down. Now you stop it! Stop down. it, you hear me? It's true. It's true. I miss no one. No one. Come to me. I know she's real. There is one who would save her, but he is haunted by fear. Fear that her salvation would mean his own death. I mean, she has only two hours, three at the most, to live. I gotta do something. I can't let her die. I can't. What if it's you who should die? Then we'd be free, both of us. I should take this hammer, go downstairs, and kill you. That's what I should do. But what if he didn't die? He'd come after me. And I can't begin to imagine what he'd do. Those eyes. I can't do anything. She has too much power. I wish I could help her. But I can't. I can't. It's Willie. Willie? You all right? I think so. What's that you're holding? My doll. A doll? Where'd you get it? I found it. Found it in here? Yes. Well, what would a doll be doing in here? Let me see. No. Hey, okay, just take it easy. I brought you some food. I'm not hungry. Well, at least drink this. 
What is it? Milk. No one any. Go ahead, drink it. It'll do you good. No. What's the matter? Don't drink it. Why not? It's poison. I wanted your death to be easy. My death? Barnabas is planning to kill you. Oh. I don't want you to die the way he'll do it. That's why I brought you the milk. I wanted your death to be easy. Death? No. Listen, he'll be here in a few hours. You can decide how you want to die. I'll leave it up to you. I want to die. Please don't let me die. There's nothing I can do. Oh, there is. You can let me escape. You know I can't. He'd come after me. He'd kill me. Or worse. You pretend you don't know anything about it. You can escape with me. Please don't let me die. There's nothing I can do for you. Willie! Willie, please! Please don't do this! Please don't do this! Willie! Willie, please! Willie! taken care of down there. There are no traces of the Evans girl left in that room. I cleaned it up. There's nothing there. Good. What's the matter? I thought I saw someone out there. David? No, but it could have been a child. Barnabas, what are we going to do now? About what? Well, she's dead. Maggie Evans is dead. Well, there isn't one much can do about it. I didn't count on it dying. Well, no one ever counts on it. But it happens. I mean, she seemed all right. She seemed like she was going to be okay. Yes, her death was a surprise to me. But I'm still not certain of the cause. Aren't you? Well, I'll tell you. We're the cause. We put it through something that no one should have to go through. I've done rotten things in my life, but nothing like this. I hate myself for it. And me? Do you also hate me? You know how I feel. Yes, I do. Take care, Willie. I can tolerate only so much opposition. I just didn't figure this kind of thing would happen. We went too far. Too far. My existence has rather special requirements. That girl's death wasn't part of it. You could have gone on without her. I'll be the judge of what I need. If you really don't want to work for me, you know the alternative, don't you? Yeah, I know. Your life dangles by a thread. Be careful that you don't put too much strain on it. I suggest you forget the Evans girl. Yeah, I'll forget. If I can. Yeah, I want you to go out there, outside. I feel sure there's someone out there. Sure, I'll go out and look around. And I'll try not to think. I'll try not to think who your next victim will be. Here. Looking for someone to play with, but I can't find anyone. 
Oh dear, isn't anyone to play with? It's late and everyone's home. That's where you should be. Home? I'm not far from home. Where do you live? Around here. Your mother and father must be looking for you. I can't find them. Well, maybe they're home or somewhere near there. No. And where are they? I don't know. I've been looking for them for such a long time. I can't find them anywhere. Hey, kiddo, I don't understand you. Hey, are you the one who was playing with David? David? Uh-huh. Oh, yes. I met a boy named David. I was looking for him, too. But I couldn't find him. Yeah, well, that's because he's not supposed to play here. And you're not supposed to play here either. Now, nobody is. I have to have some place to play. Well, you play someplace else, but not around here. I wouldn't know where to go. Look, I'm not going to sit around talking to you all night. Now, you get out of here, and you get out of here now. I don't know where to go. But this ain't a safe place, you understand? It ain't safe around here. Now, you better get going, you understand? Now, which way is your house? I live over there. Oh, no, that, that, that's the old house, Mr. Collins' house. Now, where do you live? I told you! Hey, I know what's the matter. You're lost, huh? Now, come on now. It's a good thing I found you. You come with me and I'll take you back to a town. That's where you live. No, I live over there! Now, I haven't got time to argue with you. Now, you just follow me and I'll take you back to town. Hey, little girl. Where'd you go? Where are you? Where are you? Little girl? with your friend, Maguire. He's beginning to ask questions. That's the way he is, full of bluffs. If he isn't careful, he'll have to be dealt with. He likes to bluff everybody. Don't worry about him. Oh, by the way, you were right about uh, somebody being outside. Who was it? Some little girl. Found a wandering out there. I sent her on her way. She took off pretty fast. What do you mean? Well, I mean, she must have run fast, because I turned my back and she was gone. Strange kid. Seemed kind of lost. Had no sense of direction. When I asked her where she lived, she kept pointing at this house. to a little unfinished business, Willie. You got no business here. The sheriff told you to get out of town by sundown. I know what the sheriff said. They'll catch you, Jason. They'll put you in jail. 
You have no faith in me, Willie. I can take care of myself. You're taking a big chance. You can wind up in big trouble. Well, you're not threatening me, are you, lad? I'm thinking about you, Jason. I know. That's very touching. Now you got to get out of here. You're not safe here. I don't think the sheriff bothered looking for me here. Now, that's not what I mean. Now, what do you mean? I mean, Mr. Collins, he's here in this house. Oh. And he can't hear us, is that right? No. But very soon he'll come here in this room and he'll find you. Well, now, Willie, if that's true, and I seriously doubt that it is, I can take care of Mr. Barnabas Collins. Oh, why did you lie to me? They said you were leaving town, why didn't you? We made a bargain, Willie. You didn't live up to your end of it. I brought you the jewel. You said you'd leave town if I did. <laughs> One measly little jewel. Come on, Willie. You think I settled for that? It's all I could get. You're lying. There's a fortune in jewelry hidden somewhere in this house, and I intend to find it. I need a stake, Willie. What peanuts? Are you wrong? There aren't any jewels except the one I gave you. Oh? Well, what were you holding in your hand last night, Willie? Holding? Well, in case your memory has failed you, I'll refresh it. You were holding a box, and there was a fortune of jewels in it. You saw me? Through that window, and I know they're hidden somewhere in this house, and I'm going to find them. Where are they, Willie? I can't tell you. Oh. You're going to tell me, Willie. I can't. Now you know better than to cross me up. Listen to me, Jason. We're still friends. We're friends, Willie. Past tense. <coughs> oh. Oh. Where are they? I can't. Uh... Where are they? You're going to tell me you're going to twist your arm right off. Now where? In the basement. Oh, well, now, that's more like it, Willie. And now you and I are going down into the basement. Oh, you and can't. you're going to show me where they are. I can't go down there. Why not, Willie? Barnabas is down there. Oh, come on, Willie. Give me credit for some little intelligence. Oh, he's there. down there. you got to believe me. I don't care if he's down there or not. I'm not leaving till I get what I came here for. I gotta tell you, it's the only way I can stop you. Barnabas, he isn't alive. But he can walk at night, but he's dead. Have you lost what little brain you have left? If you go down there, he'll kill you, or worse. <laughs> We're going down into the basement, Willie. No, Jason, no. The sun is about to set. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. You shouldn't be here, Jason. You shouldn't be here. I'll oh, keep quiet, Willie. I tried to warn you. I tried. What kind of a room is this? And that coffin? Well, now, what's that doing here? You stay away from that. Why, Willie? You mustn't go near it. Oh? Now, why is that, I wonder? Is it because the jewels are hidden in here? Oh, Jason, you mustn't. You can't. Oh, get away from me. There aren't any jewels in there. No. Well, then, where are they, Willie? Want the jewels? Yes, I want them, Willie. I'll find out soon. I'll get you some. But where are they? In the table. Get them. You take them and get out. <laughs> They're not all the jewels, Willie. There's some Barnabas wants me to sell. The rest are sealed up on the wall. I haven't got time to get them. Up in the wall, are they? Well, they weren't sealed up in the wall last night, Willie. Barnabas told me to put them there. I put them there this morning. You're lying, Willie. I'm not lying. Well, then open up the wall and get them. I can. I haven't got the time. Take these. They're worth a fortune. 
I want the rest of them with I told you they're sealed up in the wall. You know what I think, Willie? I think you're lying. I don't think they're sealed up in the wall at all. I think they're hidden right here in this coffin. But they're not in there. You've got to believe me. Then why is this coffin here? Because it's his coffin. Oh, come on, Willie. Don't start that again. Please, Jason, you've got more than enough. Get out of here before it's too late. I'm going to open up this coffin, Willie, and you're not going to stop me. That's right, Willie. And I wouldn't listen to you. Would I? 